Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the fourth lecture of this number theory series. And in this lecture, we are going to talk about binary exponentiation. So, binary exponentiation is basically when you are given to calculate a raised to power n, and it is also known as uh, exponentiation by squaring. So, you are given two numbers, two integers a and n and you have to calculate a raised to power n then there are two approach one is of course brute force and the other one is binary exponentiation so binary exponentiation uh, allows you to calculate a raised to power n in log n time complexity so let's see what we would do in brute force approach uh, you are given base you have to calculate base raised to power n so what we can do we would initialize result to be 1 and then run a loop from 1 to n and each time we would multiply base with result and finally we would return result this is pretty straightforward right no problem in here and nothing it's just simple and easy so the overall complexity of course as you can see is big of n that is linear in n so the binary exponentiation I would explain you through an example so suppose you have to calculate 2 raised to power 13 we have two variables a result which would be the final result base and power now what this represents here sorry what this represents here is that uh, this part is calculated and all you have to do calculate this part and finally multiply this calculation to this and that would be the final result the final result would be 2 raised to the power 13 multiplied by 1 this doesn't make sense right i know but it would just bear with me so since power is odd what we can do 2 raised to the power 13 we can write as 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 12 right so using that fact uh the 1 2 that was there 2 into 10 in in the expression 2 into 10 uh 2 raised to power 12 the the 1 base i have multiplied with result now all we have to do is calculate 2 raised to power 12 right so when the power is odd all we can simply what we can simply do is simply multiply result with the current base so all we have to do is calculate the even power of the given base now if you calculate 2 raised to the power 12 multiply it with uh, multiply it with the result then we would find the final result now since power is odd what we can do is 2 raised to the power 12 is same as 4 raised to the power 6 so what we can do we can square the base and divide the power by 2 so power gets half and base gets squared that is why it is also known as exponentiation by squaring so what you do you square the base and divide the power by 2 so just assume if you had to calculate 2 raised to power 100 or 2 raised to power 1000 for, for now so if you have to calculate 2 raised to power 1000 then 2 raised to power 1000 is same as 4 raised to power 500 so you see you have saved there 500 multiplications same goes here if you had to calculate 2 raised to power 12 you have to run a loop from 1 to 12 but now we have to run a loop till 6 only not till 12 now again 4 raised to power 6 is same as 16 raised to power 3 you see a result variable is not being changed only base and power are being changed so 4 raised to power 6 is same as 16 raised to power 3 so we have squared the base again and reduced the power uh, by 2 each time now you see the power becomes odd now what we can do 16 raised to power 3 can be written as 16 into 16 raised to power 2 so the first 16 we would multiply it with the result and then all we have to calculate is 16 raised to power 2 now since power is again even what we can do 16 raised to power 2 is same as calculating 256 raised to power 1 so we would uh, whenever you see the power even you divide the power by 2 and uh, multiply base with itself that is you square the base and now since the power becomes odd you multiply base with result and then reduce power by 1 
now as soon as the power becomes zero this is your final result so you see whenever we see the power odd we divide it so every at most every second operation the power gets reduced by half so this is what gives you a complexity of log n with base 2 so if you see the implementation that is easy to you have to calculate a raised to power n you initialize result with 1 and while n which means while n is non-zero that is while n is greater than 0 if n is odd of course you would multiply a that is base with the result and reduce n by 1 otherwise if it is even what we do we divide the power by 2 and multiply base with itself that is we square the base this is simple and then finally you would return the result and this is uh, it is having a complexity sorry it is having a complexity uh, log n because of this because every at most every second operation uh, power gets reduced by half in fact you can op uh, make it in such a way that in every operation power gets reduced to half all you can do is simply remove this else statement so in every case it would be reduced by half because you know if it is odd then after reducing the power you know have to be reduced by half if it is not then it have to be reduced by half anyways so you can simply remove the else and uh, this would work fine as well so this is modular exponentiation in some cases you have to calculate a raised to power a raised to power n modulo some prime number p so in that in that case you can simply improve uh, simply change code a bit and you can say since uh, it, when n is odd you have to multiply a with result so what you can do result is equals to result into a and then take a modulo of it rest is same same goes for this since you have to square a so you can write a is equals to a into a mod p and divide n by 2 that's all you have to do and finally return the result so this is modular exponentiation because you have to calculate a raised to power n modulo p so this was modular exponentiation or exponentiation by squaring so it runs in log n time so in next lecture i'll be taking one or two example problems of it and till then just keep coding thank you